Hey everyone, I'm Travis Guillory in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with Chef Valerie from OUTU School of Community Medicine. Thanks for coming in for us today. Thank you for having me here. So uh, what are we going to be, be making today? And uh, we should probably say it's not a dessert even though you might see rice cereal there. Right, so don't make <laughs> the mistake of getting the frosted rice cereal. This is just the unsweetened plain rice cereal. Okay. But we're going to be making some crispy tofu sticks and so these are going to be a much more affordable option to chicken nuggets that you might get in the freezer section of the grocery store. Okay. And this is a really fun thing to get your kids in the kitchen involved with too. So last night I did a little test run on these and my daughter helped and so the tofu which has been pressed um, to remove any excess liquid and then one pound makes 16 sticks. So it's just gonna get dipped in a mixture. This is just a um, yogurt that I mixed with a little bit of water um, to give it the right consistency. And then I'm just rolling it in the cereal just like this and kind of pressing the cereal on each stick as we go. Yeah. Okay, so each one of these is just gonna go in. You want that, the uh, sticks to be nice and dry too because if it's not, then the yogurt won't stick and then the cereal won't stick and you'll just end up with some sticks with no coating. Yeah. Okay. And, and so would this be like a, like a snack alternative, like a meal? Like what would this be considered for, for families that, that, that want to make this? So definitely a snack would be um, great. This would be a, a nice plant-based snack if you wanted to go that route. Um, but also just for dinner. So any, any kind of meal, lunch or dinner um, that you were would normally have a, a chicken nugget, this would be an alternative to that. Okay, so a, a, a healthier plant-based alternative for a chicken nugget. And what is tofu for folks that don't? have that in their normal, you know, culinary vocabulary like me. You know, I, I don't, I've, I'm not familiar with tofu, so some other people might not be as Sure, well. sure. So it's a pressed um, tofu, excuse me, a soybean product. Okay. Okay, so it's soybeans that have been pressed and formed, and then you can actually cut that into shapes, and it very much does have a meaty texture, and it resembles meat, especially when you get the firm or extra firm. You wouldn't want to get the silken in this case. There's different firmnesses of um, tofu. Gotcha. Okay, so once you have the um, liquid coating and then the dry coating. These are just going to get a nice spray of pan spray. And what this does, is going to help it get a nice brown and crispy texture. Gotcha. Okay. And so when these come out of the oven, you might want to sprinkle them with just a tiny bit of salt. And I mean a tiny bit, like a few grains per stick. Gotcha. Okay. And then our finished product yeah. is right over here. Nice and crispy, brown, and serve, just serve them with your favorite dipping sauce. Yeah. Does it get a little firmer in the, in the oven? Does it kind of crisp up a little bit, that tofu? It, it can do that. Okay. And another little trick, too, is if when you buy your tofu, stick it in the freezer, let it freeze, thaw it, and then, then press the liquid, and that'll actually help get even more liquid out of it. Gotcha. Okay, so a great alternative for a chicken nugget. Even though you're using rice cereal, not a dessert. <laughs> no <laughs> marshmallows here. Right, there's no marshmallows or frosting on this, but definitely a, a good alternative for uh, folks. And like you said, very user-friendly. Even a nine-year-old can, <laughs> can do it. So if you want to know more about this recipe and all of our recipes, head over to our website, kjrh.com. Everything we make here in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen uh, gets on that website. So if you want to know how to make this and everything else that we do here, head over to our website. Once again, Chef Valerie from OUTU school of community medicine. Always a pleasure to have you in, Chef. We Thank appreciate you. it.